Domestic equities lost ground last Friday amid concerns that easy money flow might slow down if the US Federal Reserve began tapering its stimulus plans by the end of 2021. Further, a rampant spread of the Delta variant of COVID-19, faltering global growth and regulatory crackdown by China soured sentiment on the bourses. Investor wealth crumbled by nearly 3 trillion rupees as the S&P BSE Sensex declined 300 points and the Nifty 50 dropped 118 points on Friday. In the broader markets, the BSC mid-cap and small-cap indices fell 2% each. Metal stocks were the worst hit on Friday as fear of an increase in interest rates, tapered tantrums in the US, and elevated inflation hammered stocks. The Nifty 50 metal index fell over 6%, dragged by NMDC 10%, Vedanta 10%, Tata Steel 8.8%, sale 8.6% and JSW Steel 7%. But Christopher Wood, global head of equity strategy at Jefferies, remains structurally positive on India. Despite lofty valuations at 21.5 times 12 months forward earnings, he sees India underperforming in case of a risk off triggered by taper scare. The major risks to Indian equities, according to Wood, are the arrival of a new COVID variant and a change in the Reserve Bank of India's dovish policy. That said, he remains structurally positive on India, despite lofty valuations, which, he says, creates a certain vertigo. Against this backdrop, all eyes are on US Fed Chair Jerome Powell's address this week at the Jackson Hole meeting, scheduled between 26th and 28th August. A Bank of America survey suggests 28% of investors expect the Fed to signal tapering at Jackson Hole, 33% think it will come in the September FOMC meet, and 23% expect it to be in Q4 of 2021. Overall, 84% of fund managers expect the US Fed to signal taper by the year end and view China policy and taper tantrum as the biggest tail risk to markets. That apart, US GDP data, progress of the Delta variant of COVID-19 and its implications on global growth, listing of Novoco Vistas, Aptus Value Housing Finance, and Kemplus Sanmar and monthly FNO expiry will guide the markets this week. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.